My name is Robert Wood. I graduated from Central High School in Noonan, class of 1962. Uh, I was there from 57 to 62. I was in the junior high school department in the seventh and eighth grade. Tell me about some of the activities you were involved with while you were at Central. Uh, I was involved with basic, you know, basic stuff, sports, and did a little time in the band and that kind of stuff. But the highlight uh, of my being there was involvement with, with science fair projects and with uh, creating a yearbook for the class of 1962. Tell me about the science fair projects and, and then the relationship to Noonan High School. Uh, I did several science fair projects, but one science fair project that I did uh, was, was kind of different. Uh, I did a, a science fair project concerning fallout shelters and, 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 uh, and, and, and discovering where radi radiation may be. And there was a little piece of equipment that we needed to demonstrate the project called a pocket dissimeter. And we did not have one in our chemistry lab. So our teacher uh, had a relationship with the teacher at Newton High School. As you know, back then we were segregated. Had a relationship with the, uh, with the uh, chemistry teacher at Newton High School. So he borrowed a pocket dissimeter from him. But in that borrowing... He brought me to Newton High School with him one afternoon, about this time, maybe a little earlier. And I tell folks that I was probably the first African-American student to come into this school as a student. Tell me about the yearbook, getting the yearbook uh, printed in 1962 for the class of 62. Well, we had a yearbook in 57, and I represented the 7th grade junior high department on that yearbook. I was a reporter for the seventh grade. And I liked the idea of a yearbook. But in uh, 58 to 61, there was no yearbook. And nobody asked why, uh, but I wanted a yearbook. So during the summer of, of between uh, the summer, I guess summer of 61, uh, between 11th and 12th grade, uh, my good friend Alton Maddox and I came up with a scheme as to how to get a yearbook. And, and that was to just flat tell the principal and the superintendent or whoever was standing in the way that we were going to do a yearbook if we had to do it at home. So they conceded and let us do it. So as a result of that, we got the yearbook of 1962, and, and every class after that had a yearbook that won't I understand there's one class that didn't have one after that, but, but everybody pretty much had one. And, and it was not an easy thing to do, you know, to phase off the principal and the superintendent. But uh, we got it done, and, and the principal... Uh, you asked me a little bit ago about uh, what did it do for me going forward in my life. Well, one thing that it did, in that yearbook, the principal wrote in his autograph, Robert, you have splendid ability. Use it well. And I often think about that when I try to do something. I, I try never to do anything to hurt people, but just to let them know where I stand on an issue, uh, uh, and that, that to me, a lot of times, I hear those words in my head. And that dovetails right into the next question. Do you recall any teachers or staff members that had a positive influence on your life when you were, from when you were at Central? Uh, I'm going to do it real quick because there were so many of them. Seventh grade, Mr. Cheney. Mr. Cheney died recently. Uh, he told his wife, that I was the best student he ever taught. Uh, Mrs. Harris, who's my eighth grade teacher, she made a choir boy, made a church boy out of me. Uh, uh, Mrs. Bird, whom I don't know if you knew her, but she was counselor here for a while. Yes. She, okay, Mrs. Bird mm -hmm. 
was, I called her my science fair mama. I did three science fair projects with her in math, uh, slide rule and something else. Uh, Mr. Webb, whom I mentioned, bringing, uh, bringing me over to the school. Mr. Jones, Mr. Paramore, uh, uh, Mr. Ramsey. I could go on and on because I had Mr. Selden, who was the coach. I played football for him for three years. But I had good rapport with all of my teachers. I don't think there was a teacher that didn't like me. Very good. What did you go on to do after high school? After high school, I joined the Navy. I had a scholarship to Morris Brown, but I didn't want to put that pressure on my mother. So I went into the Navy, and after I got out of boot camp, I got married. I stayed in the Navy five years and got out of the Navy. I went to San Diego State. Got a degree in accounting, and then you came uh, back to Noonan. At what point? I came back to Noonan after twenty-five years of, of being away in eighty-seven. Uh, my ex-wife and me, but we just reached a point where we couldn't reconcile. So I decided to come home. I was going to go over to Saudi Arabia somewhere and make me a pot of money. But I got here and stuff started getting hot over there and I didn't want to be around that stuff. So uh, I stayed here and I don't know if you remember Mr. Wilburn Clay that was on the, city, uh, on the county commission. Mm -hmm. Mr. Clay was one of my mentors growing up. And he and Mr. Bolton urged me to become president of the NAACP. And from there, county commission. And, and uh, I got away from accounting. Well, not totally away from accounting, but I, I started doing real estate. And right now, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to retire and get somebody to take over this little brokerage firm I got. But it's, it's been a ride, but I, I've enjoyed every minute of it.